Thank you very much for this opportunity, uh, Dr. Alim, and other valued guests, ladies and gentlemen. Um, when, I walked, when I walked in today, I was given the, the right uh, the sustainability goal of water sustainability. It sounds one of my passions, something I've been involved in for over 35 years, and it's hopefully going to be something that will be my legacy to leave as well, some development in, in water sustainability. Uh, we were asked at the beginning to try and keep the company out and to be more general about our statements, but it's always very difficult when you work for a company. So today I'd like to just share with you some of the visions that are my personal visions, my personal um, passions, but they're well aligned with, with the company that I work for. So if we think in the beginning, what is sustainability? And if we go back to the, the definition, I see a few people have looked at definitions, comes back to, to the ability to sustain, and sustain is giving support to, comes from the, fr the old French, sustainer, hold up, bear, and even suffer or endure. So this is not an easy thing. Sus to be sustainable to, and to be acting sustainably is something that you have to bear, you have to suffer, you have to really endure something. The Latin sustainere, sustainere was to hold up, hold upright, furnish with the means of support, again, and, and again, bear, undergo, and endure. Other means to stretch, to continue to keep up, which we'll go into just now. To endure without failing, without yielding. So this is really something serious. We can easily say we're going to be sustainable, we want to be sustainable, but this is what it means to be sustainable. To really bring the actions, to put your money where your mouth is, to put your life where your mouth is, to be sustainable. One of my favorite uh, psychologists, uh, Victor Franklin, said, those who have a why to live can bear almost any how. And I think Dr. Alim brought out earlier, his passion is why. And this is why everybody here today has to wake up every morning and get out of bed with a why, with a cause, with a passion. And it has to be sustainable in the end. So I just took one of... A one of the famous companies' uh, visions and their sustainability statements, and I'm not going to go through it all, but just to have a look at some of the wording of it, just to start off, we believe that we are on the face of this earth to make great products, and that's not changing. So this is a belief system. Your sustainability is what you believe in at the end of the day. And if you look at all the statements, we believe, we believe, we believe, and then right at the end, frankly, we won't settle for anything less. So this has really got to be core value for us to be sustainable. The company involved, we all know them. Apple, I think yesterday in one of the, the discussions there was that. And we respect these companies. This is just one. There's many companies that just live their vision. Every day, everybody that works there is passionate about fulfilling their, their sustainable vision for us. And we have to all be the same. At Corita, we have a similar statement where we want to study the properties of water and master them. Not just study them, master them. Get on top of it. And then you can create an environment where nature and, and man are in harmony. Um, we, sp we spoke about the shared value in the previous discussion. We want to be creators, not just look around for what somebody else has done. Create our own shared value and share it with our customers. And this all comes back to being sustainable in society. How does this work? Sustainability, like charity, begins at home. You can't create a company that's a sustainable company. You have to have this, again, from the bottom up. And our company looks at this from, from a perspective of doing it at home first. So we have, in our own environment, looking at CO2, looking at our water, looking at our impact, waste generated, and once you've developed the technologies and the ways to do that, we can then feed it up. And that's that definition of holding upright, furnishing a means of support. We can then support our customers. Once you've perfected it in-house, you can take it further. You don't want to develop this in your customer's environment. So we take it up, and then you get the mul multiplication, where if you save in one, your customer can save 10 or 100 or 1,000, depending on the size of the customer, and develop that up. We see, we've seen this uh, little three circles that intersect and you get the union. 
different uh, namings, but basically you're bringing people, the environment or the planet, and there has to be a profitability in it. There has to be some monetary benefit, otherwise it gets lost. Sustainability must produce some value to people. And if we can bring those three together, that's when we really can be sustainable into the